G'day Lee, and uh, we're going to be looking at Audacity, a free and open source audio recorder. I can never remember the website for Audacity, so I'll just do a quick Google search. Audacity, that's the one. And it comes up with first in the rank, telling me it's a pretty popular site, a pretty popular program I happen to know too. It's audacity.sourceforge.net, so off to there. And what we're wanting Audacity for is um, to uh, obviously record audio from uh, using our computer, just using a little microphone, and also convert to um, MP3. Now there is a little thing with MP3. MP3 is proprietary software, meaning that somebody owns the uh, license to it, and if you want to use that type of um, software, you want to use something to in your software to create MP3, then you have to pay them. So Audacity hasn't paid them. And so the way they get around it, and I don't know the exact detail, but the way they get around to it is they offer a link to a software that has paid, I guess, and works into Audacity. So you need to download two bits of software. You need to download Audacity, and you need to download what is called a, uh, I think it's a .dll file that just plugs into Audacity. And it sounds complicated. It's more complicated than it perhaps needs to be with you know software that you buy but uh, it's not that hard to do and once you've done it, it's done forever. So let's go to um, download Audacity, download Audacity and then we've got the download the Audacity installer and then here's the one we want to download is the lame mp3 encoder. So downloading the installer is no worries. We'll go off to the lame encoder and for the Windows we have to go off to the lame download page and from memory it comes up with quite a list and uh, some people will get a little bit nervous by seeing a list of stuff I personally just download the first on the list they all do the same thing and it's a zip file and we open up the zip file now what happens when you run Audacity I'll just go off and run Audacity I've already done it, but I'll see if I can describe it somehow. So I've got the Audacity installed on my computer already. Here's what it looks like. So let's uh, just... Uh, I won't record any audio because it'll interrupt my um, my uh, recording here. I'll see if I've got something already, but... Yes, I'll have to ha op open something up. Oh, okay, then let's just go for Brewster Carl. Up oh, too big, that one. Actually, I'll go for something smaller. Um, here we go, maybe something a little bit smaller I'm trying to find, but they're all fairly big, I'll try Merrily's. One seeing this recording is mainly for Merrily. So it's already an MP3 file, but let's imagine that I've just recorded straight through the um, Audacity here, and that to do that you just plug a microphone in and hit that record button, and it records down here. When you've got the audio in there, you can export as WAV, which will keep the f keep the quality quite high. You can export to OGVORBUS, which is an open source compression software that's the free alternative to MP3. And some players play this. Most players, definitely Linux players, play it. And I think uh, Macintosh does. I'm not too sure. And uh, anyway, that's that's probably the more progressive format to save to. Uh, but as we know, MP3 is the most popular. So when you export to MP3. Um, what it does is you say yes, we'll take it to there, and we'll just go save, I won't do it at this point because it'll pop up with a window saying you need the DLL file um, before you can export to MP3 and it'll ask you if you want to do it now and you just go yes and remembering where you saved that lame zip file, the DLL file is inside that zip file, so you have to have already opened that zip file, and it could be just, I usually just put it in the same place, I just put it somewhere in the C drive. And when you says, yes, I want to map, I want to find the DLL file, then you just go and find it, click it, and it's done. Um, if that's not clear, Merrily and whoever else, just send me an email, and I'll uninstall Audacity and go through it all here. So basically the main thing I want to know, tell you is that it's okay to download one of the lame files from that website, one, one of these, just this one, after you've downloaded the Audacity program. And once you've done that, you're right to go creating MP3s.